Check, check, one, two, check, one, two. Here, that's focused on my face. Let me pull up my calculator, my, my calculator. 398 days on carnivore. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Have I got some stories for you before I get into carnivore. So, uh, first of all, this video is sponsored by me, yours truly. Uh, I teach high school kids video production. Therefore, in the summer months, it is really hard for me to turn the camera on and film myself because I've been filming myself all year, showing them videos on how to do stuff, things like that. It's kind of the old adage, the, the shoemaker's kid never has shoes, right? And so, and not only that, we have been super busy this summer working on some side yard projects and, and stuff like that, house projects, mainly our side yard. We're laying pavers. We'll get to that in a minute. So anyway, this video is sponsored by me. Uh, the perils of being a content creator is that when you teach something and you're, you're busy doing it, whether it, it, it could be painting. I used to teach painting and, and all that. I teach art. Um, and it was really hard for me to come home and make time to paint. It would be like any teacher who loves reading, teaching reading and coming home and trying to muster that energy to read, right? So, anyway, yes, I haven't been posting very many videos this summer. I could do how to do videos on how to lay pavers. I could do videos on the screw ups of uh, trying to enlarge a hole uh, for a, a knob in your, in your daughter's bedroom door and how you screw it up and gouge out <laughs> everything and you just go buy a new door. I could shoot all that. I just don't want to. To be quite honest, I don't want to. As a content creator, that would be creating content, but I don't. And uh, and, and honestly, I'd, I'd much rather be present with my wife and daughter rather than trying to turn a camera on. But, but, my wife's working out, my daughter's asleep, it's early in the morning. This is just the third time I've tried to shoot this video this morning because my batteries died. I haven't turned my camera on since our vacation at the beginning of the summer. So there's one story. The other story is sort of related to carnivore. My daughter has magnetiles. She loves magnetiles. And she had built something. It's been a few weeks ago, months, maybe even a month ago. I don't know. And it was a little stables for her animals and it fell apart, just kind of collapsed on her. She was so upset, she was crying. And I said, sweetheart, you can, a lot of times in life, when something doesn't go right, or it falls apart, or you're, you're making a painting or a piece of art, and you forget, <laughs> you forget to plug in your microphone and there's no audio, or as, as like today, you, run out of batteries twice because you haven't charged them all summer because you haven't been shooting videos um, and you have to run get more batteries things like that sometimes when you redo them it turns out better and so uh, I told her let's build it back and maybe it'll be better build back better well, hang on anyway so we we uh, we built it back and she loved it it was two stories, it housed more animals, things like that. Well, prior to that, I had set, I, let me back up. We're, we're doing the side yard project, right? Well, we couldn't get a bobcat back here because my gate was really small. And I needed a wider gate rather than, a, it was like a 35, 36 inch gate. Couldn't get a bobcat back here. So this past year, my wife and I have been shoveling out dirt, seven inches down, 20 feet by 16 feet, a lot of dirt. So we can then shovel in concrete paver base 
And that's what I've been doing all summer. Truckload after truckload, shoveling in concrete paper base. But uh, we wanted to we wanted to add our pavers around the posts. So we would cut pavers to fit around the posts. So I had to reset new posts. In other words, I took off the front of my, my gate and my fence, reset four posts, and then we're gonna work around those posts because I set them lower in the, in the cement is kind of below ground. So, um, so we can just put our pavers around, cut them how we need, and it'll look nice instead of trying to, you know how sometimes when you set a, set a post, there's concrete pooled around it and it hardens. You just want to, you don't want to try to set pavers to that. Anyway, I'm going to try to make this video short so I can get it out before noon. We'll see. It's 9.21 now. I've been shooting, I've been trying to shoot this video since like 8 o'clock. But anyway, so. I go, I had set the post, tore down the gate, made a temporary gate. Hey, shh. Shooting a video over here. Chickens. So uh, I go out, I'm, I'm 52 years old. I go out and I look, I'm 52 years old when I find out that pressure treated lumber is garbage, like garbage. Do not buy it. I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't use it to build my daughter's lemonade stand. Nope. And I built my daughter a lemonade stand for her birthday. So when you set them, they will bow and twist. Luckily, I've got all four of them that are twisted at the top. Luckily, I'm going to cut the tops off. But um, one just bowed completely out and twisted up. I had to remove it, dig it back up. I was so angry. But I, I had to give myself the same advice I gave my daughter. Hopefully, hopefully, that it, when there's a mistake and you have to redo it, it's better. So, so yeah. So I, uh, I went and bought a cedar post, dug it all out, bought a cedar post. Can y'all hear that chicken? Anyway, I bought a cedar post, put a cedar post in, and once we get our pavers cut and set around those posts, then I'll, I'll build back better my fence. <clears throat> all right, now, why, why all that? Why all those stories? Because I like stories. I've been on the carnivore diet now for 398 days. Today is 402 minus the four days uh, for Thanksgiving that I took off. 398 days and yeah over a year this is the update the one year update what's changed what's stayed the same blah 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 blah, blah. Um, everything being equal I've gained weight so I I dropped total I think 31 pounds so down from 235 to I think the lowest was 204 I'm back up to around 208 to 10 somewhere in there but i think a lot of that is from shoveling paver base like six or seven truckloads of just and putting on muscle so uh, so i've gained a little weight that doesn't bother me because i still feel amazing i still feel healthy um for the most part sleeping through the night when someone doesn't wake me up um energy levels are great I feel rested. I feel satiated. Like I had some, I had breakfast this morning, ground beef and some other stuff. Um, I feel satiated, uh, getting plenty of liquids, water, things like that. Um, in one of my videos, I mentioned that I had a full panel of blood work done. Blood work look, is looking great. I'm scheduling a, uh, it's like an MRI of your heart. Uh, where they go in and they, they don't go in. I don't think they go in. <laughs> uh, they just, they do like a, an x-ray kind of thing of your heart to see if there's any like plaque buildup. I'm going to get those results. I haven't done the, I haven't done that yet, but I'll, I'm scheduling that this week and I'll make a video about that. Um, and that was just recommended to like, Hey, if you just want a little extra, you know, assurance, do this. And so I'm like, heck yeah, for like a hundred bucks. Okay. I'll go do that. 
Um, the trains are leaving the station just fine. So that's, uh, that's uh, when I tell friends I'm on the carnivore diet, that's kind of one of their questions like, aren't you constipated? Nope. 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 But I'm not going every day or every hour. It's like, oh, before it was like, oh my goodness, I've got to go to the bathroom. Rumble tummy, the whole nine yards. The bubble gut, it's like, ugh. like, oh, I got to go now. Now it's more like, oh, I think I might need to go to the bathroom. All right. And there you have it. So, um, all things being equal, I've gained a little bit of weight back on convert. Not that, not that, uh, that's, that's a benefit, but I feel healthy. <clears throat> um, what else? Inflammation is good in my joints. I'm sore from shoveling. Um, we'll, let's see. I haven't really worked out. I need to, I'm going to start working out. It's, it's July as of this recording today, Wednesday, the 10th, July 10th, 2024, 930 at recording at, oh, hey buddy, at posting of this video, I will um, get it out hopefully before noon. But yeah, that's it. Um, side yard project has kept us busy. We had to flip flop. Usually we do our vacations at the end of the summer just to kind of get away because we've been doing home projects, but we got away for a long weekend and came back to do home projects. We've got other stuff. I'm painting our, our, our doors in our house and the trim. We had a few of those that hadn't been painted yet. Um, and then we're going to work on our deck and our, our front porch area. We're going to get some stuff done with that. And then that should be the summer. Yeah. My dog is right here at my feet, laying down. He's been chasing squirrels along the fence line this morning. My goal before the summer is over with is to try to get below 200 pounds. I've got a buddy, a shout out to my friend Shane, who is down to 192 and he's cut out a ton of stuff. He's kind of doing more of a keto but I think he, he, he was up in the, the two, mid 200s as well. And he's should have started carnivore this past Monday. Um, and so he's wanting to kind of see if it would clear up some, some psoriasis and stuff that he's got. Um, I have, have, still have some neuropathy in this foot, uh, right between my toes. It's like shoving a hot knife through it. Uh, which has actually gotten better on carnivore. Um, prior to carnivore, man, it was like flame in my foot and I could like pop the nerve, so to speak. And it would literally almost put me on the floor in tears. That hasn't happened while on carnivore. Um, usually if I elevate it or if I take my shoe off and just kind of roll my foot around on the floor or something that it goes away. Um, but according to Dr. Ken Berry, with nerve damage or anything like that, carnivore can cure it, but it's going to take, it'll take a while. So, but it has gotten better on carnivore. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, just, just my update. One year, I feel great. I'm going to keep doing it. I thought about doing the lion diet, but I like variety and carnivore provides that variety. Just eating ruminant animals and salt and water. I could do it if, if I needed to, but I like eggs and I like, you know, milk. That's been the amazing thing on carnivore. Uh, I've been lactose intolerant my whole life and not on carnivore. I literally went and bought grass fed milk, whole milk the other day. And I've just been chugging it, uh, a nice cold carton of milk. I don't, I don't, it's my milk. I just, I don't even put it in a glass. I just chug what I want. I did have a glass of milk the other night. No issues whatsoever with the intolerance. So that's been a, a huge benefit of carnivore. I had heard that uh, Carrie on Homestead Howe and uh, Healing Humanity had said that they don't, they don't get sunburned anymore. And I've, and I've, I've also 
heard that in uh, one of the carnivore Facebook groups I'm in. And as I was shoveling one morning, one day or whatever, I got, I got the redneck, right? I got, I've got a great farmer's tan going on. My neck was burned. I forgot to apply whatever. My wife's like, oh, it's, it's bad. It's gonna peel. And I was like, okay, we have some aloe vera. So that night before bed, I put some aloe vera on it just, just in case it was gonna like, like really inflame and, and, and burn. Like I could tell it was a little hot, but not, not like normal. Next day, I felt fine. It felt fine back there. It did, I didn't feel heat on it and it never peeled. It just, it just turned into a tan. And so that's interesting. And I had talked to one of our science teachers about eating enough protein. Would it make my beard, like the hairs in my beard become darker? Cause I've got, you know, I've got some wisdom in my beard. And she's like, absolutely. That could totally happen with as much protein as you're eating. And so it, it also does something on the cellular level with your skin as far as, now I'm sure if I just laid out, I could probably burn, but just being out in the sun, I've not needed sunscreen. I don't necessarily like putting chemicals on my body, uh, but this, that's amazing. Like I was, I was burned. Prior to carnivore, I, I would have, there would I would have been like peeling skin off in bed and you know, it just been gross. Uh, like a snake coming out of its skin. So yeah, uh, there you go. That's, that's my one year journey on carnivore. I'm going to keep doing carnivore. I might add in, uh, we've got some raspberries growing right back here and, uh, I might eat some raspberries. We've got some spinach that the grasshoppers have devoured. I might have some homegrown spinach. I might add some broccoli. We'll see stuff that we know that's organic or that we grow ourselves. We've got some sweet potatoes back here that we're, that we're growing. Um, so I have no problem eating those things. For my daughter's birthday, we had a birthday party out here. And uh, later that night, we took her to one of the trampoline places, you know. Uh, afterwards, we went to Fuzzy's Tacos. And I told her, I, <laughs> I broke carnivore for one meal. You'd, th you'd have thought I would have broken it for the the delicious cupcakes that we had for her, but I didn't. Uh, I broke it for one meal. I said I told her that I'm gonna break my carnivore diet just for you, for your birthday. And she didn't know what to say. She was just grinning from ear to ear, like just. <sighs> I had a brisket burrito bowl with your typical burrito bowl stuff: avocado, black beans, cilantro, lime rice, lettuce queso, whatever. And I felt miserable afterwards. Low grade headache all the way through the night and into the next day. I did come home and I had some, uh, some like corn chips, just your generic little corn chips. I had like six or seven of those. They were super salty, low grade headache, sleeping through the night to the next day until I drank water and ate something. But I just, I just felt miserable after eating all those carbs. There you go. That's my that's my big carnivore update. The sun is popping me in the eyes. Uh, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, I am by far no, no expert, but I feel amazing. And I can only tell you how I feel, what my blood work results are. Um, yeah. Oh, dirty carnivore. It's because I, you know, I like a little cream in my coffee um every now and then when my brain is like freaking out and like i'm really working it getting off the the cream and um the yogurt the black cherry flavored yogurt just a little a little dollop of that Whew, i'm good um so th that that's my goal for this summer is to cut Oh, and Dr. Kim Berry had mentioned that even coffee has the carbohydrates in it. So my goal this summer was to get off coffee. It's just a nostalgia thing for me. Early in the morning, hello, dragonfly. Early in the morning, coffee, quiet time, you know, just reading and enjoying the morning when it's quiet. I have done bone broth in the mornings. 
I think I'm rambling now. I don't want to get this out before noon and I got a lot of house project stuff to do. I made a list the other day. If you're ever looking at your list and it's overwhelming, sit down and make a list of things you've actually gotten accomplished. It may still be overwhelming because when I did that the other day, uh, my list of accomplishments was much smaller than the list of things that I actually do need to get done. So, All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know how you guys are doing with your carnivore diet. Uh, if you're looking at starting or if you need to pause it, you can always get back into ketosis in a day or two or three or however long it takes you to get back into ketosis and just keep going. Okay. Don't beat yourself up. It's not like you're falling off the wagon. Nope. Nope. You're driving the wagon. You've just stopped it and now you can start it back. So keep going. Uh, remember all that other stuff out there on the shelves, all those snacks, it's poison. It's not real food. It's poison don't eat it. And yeah, feel better. Feel better. You guys can do it. Way to go. Yay. You guys can do it. Come here, Dasher. Come here. Come here. Come here. You want to be on the camera? This is Dasher. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Can you, can you hug? Give me a hug. I'm trying to teach him to give, give hugs. There we go. Hi. Mm, yeah. Good boy. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, you beast. You dingo. He is, uh, he's, he's half dingo, half Australian shepherd, so. All right, thanks guys. See you on the next one.